Well, I'm back. What video do we have today to react to? Jurassic Park Evolution Movie Dinosaurs vs. Real Life 1993 Animated. Animated. This is videos by Tell It Animated, so make sure you go subscribe to their channel, guys, and let's get to the video. Oh, by the way, yeah, it's me, Indo. <laughs> So, you want to create living dinosaurs using preserved DNA and frog genes to fill in the gaps? Well, they won't be 100% accurate. But how do the 1993 Jurassic Park dinosaurs compare to the latest science? Let's find out now. Animated! Jurassic Park's Rathiosaurus has its signature head hump with added nostrils, an S-shaped 30-foot neck, and trunk-shaped legs. The real Brachiosaurus had a thicker neck along the body and more unique feet. Their head hump was less steep, and their nostrils were closer to their mouth. It's also possible, like many dinosaurs, they had more colorful patterns. They also couldn't chew like a big cow, nor would they rear on their hind legs. Although, Jurassic Park's brat was actually modeled off the similar giraffe titan, whose proportions were closer to the film version. JP's Dilophosaurus has a green color, interesting, dark markings, and two crests on top of his head. It has a lizard-like frill and spits venom, two attributes that were made up for the movie. The real Dilophosaurus was much larger, their snouts were more tapered, their head crests sat lower, and they potentially had some feathering. Also, like all dinosaurs, they lacked the ability to pronate their wrists. Nevertheless, they would still be a formidable foe for Nedry. The film's Gallimimus yeah, R.I.P. beige with artful stripes and bugged out eyes. The adolescents <laughs> have additional yeah. white markings. The real Gallimimus had smaller hands, prominent feathering, and a more angular face. The live-action Parasaurophilus features greenish coloring, a broad-beaked mouth, and its long head crest. The real dinosaur was quite chunkier, with more hoof-like front feet, a longer beak, and they possibly used their head crest for communication. The on-screen Triceratops is reddish-brown, has a spiked frill, three head horns, and Looks weird without the horn. Plus, their poop piles are disturbingly enormous. The real dino Blech. had slender appendages, an elongated head, large cheek horns, a higher eye placement, and distinct hexagonal scaling. Also, their frill could have housed more unique patterns. The live-action Tyrannosaurus has an earthy coloring, Rexy. arms, a rich skull, and extremely poor eyesight. Ah. The real creature had a full-bodied figure, um, tinier oh arms, possible feathering, added lips, and impeccable eyesight. The oh, initial shit. velociraptors have a blended brown coloring, long hands, enlarged sickle claws, and cat-like eyes. An adorable raptor hatchling is also seen. Real velociraptors <laughs> were much smaller. I have a DNA of a raptor. Like legs, arms, and facial features, and potentially lacked the slit pupils. They were definitely clever girls, but most odds couldn't turn a door handle. Although, oh, wow. the movie raptors are actually based on the larger Deinonychus, which had a more blunt snout. While real-life raptors may look more like turkeys, they were very much still deadly animals. So, yeah. see future videos covering each Jurassic sequel? Share this video and comment down below to let us know. Thanks for watching. Shout out to the patrons as... Alright, <laughs> that'll be it for this reaction video. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Real-life and Jurassic Park counterparts. Hmm. Anyway, this is Indo here, and, and any of you guys are new here, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and like this video. And again, go subscribe to a tele-animated channel, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna go now.